Alrighty, today we're gonna go over putting a rear seat in the Rockstar. Now you can see right here, I got this pretty old seat in here. Already all mounted and done. I didn't show you how to do it. You, piece of cake, you don't even know how to do it. So you go buy yourself a CJ5 seat. I think they're all the same from 60 to 90 or something like that. So get yourself one of those. And I can tell you all different places I looked, I looked everywhere and just go straight over to eBay, 250 bucks, you get yourself a normal seat, 280 bucks. You get one of these seats that I recommend. I mean, it just went in here, but you flip this lever, fold that forward. And then where is it over here? And you bring the handle up and you can fold the seat right up out of your way. So yeah, I have to pull the seat belt through and everything fold it all the way up and out of my way but that's what you want you want to be able to haul stuff you don't want the whole seat blacked up i mean 30 bucks extra and it comes with all the brackets everything to hook it up it's a one hour project so you take this seat you ordered here and you throw it right in the middle there pretty simple center it up <clears throat> well let's see i'll even get a tape measure out We'll take a look, see if we got her mounted right. So you're trying to figure out where to mount your rear seat, right? Well, you're always going to do it wrong. How often are you going to guess where to put it and put it in the right spot? So from the bracket to there, see that? Nine inches. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's nine inches. And that's from the bracket up to that line. Now I mounted... This side, from the bracket line, 10 inches. I don't know why that is. I drilled the holes the same as the other side, put it in there, seat's crooked. So I looked at, I looked an inch off, so I kicked it over, uh, <clears throat> re-drilled them, now it's perfect. That line looks straight. Uh, underneath the seat when I lifted it up, it, they looked almost the same, pretty much. So I don't know what's off there, people, but tell you what, when you go to drill your holes on the passenger side, it's gonna be one inch further back. Pretty simple. Now, driver's nine, passenger's 10. Now, remember I said I can't lean this because I gotta pull the seat belts out and I don't feel like doing that. But uh, it hits here a little bit. I haven't screwed with it much, but I might have wanted to be an inch further back. Oh, messed up right there. You know, I should have put the brackets in it and folded it up to where it hit right and everything. But in this shop, yeah, we don't do everything right. And the older I get around here, the less things I do right, seems like. So, uh, but there you go. That's how you mount a seat. That's where you buy it. Pretty simple. Center it, slap that baby in. You know, you, oh, seat belts. I think they're 30 bucks more too. So it's gonna cost you $300 for a rear seat, people. I mean, if you want one, fold up out of your way and everything. So, all right, y'all have a good one.